Mateo, thank you, Ms. Francis and Ms. Fria for joining me this afternoon. And good afternoon, parents. Uh, our wonderful parents of our wonderful um, IS-145, in this case, eighth graders. So yes, we are trying uh, today to begin a series of uh, sessions to guide you if you need it. Um, if you need uh, some information regarding the uh, high school application process. Um, it's a long process and sometimes it's tedious, but if we all work together by examining the information that will be shared with you starting today, and you also access the different platforms that are in our DOE, um, website, you will be able to be highly informed and make the right decision. Uh, for us, it's a long process. We have around 600 eighth graders. And our goal is to make sure that every single student applies and gets uh, get a, uh, applies to the high school uh, they want to go to and, and, and also uh, hopefully uh, get admitted into one of those high schools, accepted in one of those high schools. So um, we're gonna have uh, Ms. Frias at the beginning of our presentation, sharing with you key information. And then uh, Ms. Francis also will be with us. And at the end, I'm sure if you have any questions, we're more than happy to answer them for you. Um, this year, uh, schools are open, which means that if at any, point you need further um, support, we could make arrangements for you to come to the building, uh, I guess, uh, on a Saturday or after school. So I'm going to pass it over now to Ms. Rias, and let's uh, begin our presentation, Ms. Rias. Good afternoon, parents. Good afternoon, kids. How are you? Thank you for joining us. You're going to learn a lot, and we're going to have also this presentation posted in the school website. So if you need to go back and review certain things, you, it will be available. Okay, let's start. She muted or? Ms. Fri, are you talking? Because we can't hear you. Yes. We can hear you now, Ms. Ria. I think. Oh, you can. Can you see? Can you see the screen? No, no. You need to share your screen again. Okay, I was trying to go back to the meeting. No, you're you're in the meeting. Just um at the bottom where it says share screen and green button. Mm hmm. Hold on. Let me escape. Okay. No. What am I doing? Hold on. Okay, are you seeing it? No. No? No, you stopped sharing before. Yeah. Okay. Oh my God, hold on a minute. I'm trying to get to, to, the, to the meeting. I hear you, but I don't see, I'm trying to go back to Zoom. So use your four fingers and the trackpad and bring it up. Okay, All right, I'm here. Yes. Okay, I'm going to start again. Yes. Sorry. Okay.
Ms. Frias, are you talking again? Because we can't hear you. I think you're muting yourself. Let me see if I maybe I can share and and monitor it and and do it for yeah, her. I don't know what's going on. Let me see. Hold on a second. Okay. I'm gonna... Okay. Okay. Do you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, so what's going on? I don't know what's happening. I think when you press the screen, share screen, you're also muting yourself by mistake. Okay, I want to try it one more time. Yeah, just don't mute yourself. You see, you turn off your camera, don't mute yourself. Just go to share screen. I mean, hold on. The camera is turning off. The, ca the camera is turning off on its own, by the way. Oh. I'm not even turning it off. So something okay. is going on with this. So I want to try one more time. It's not, if not, then. Do you want me to just share my screen? For You're there, Ms. Francis? Yeah, I'm here. Go ahead, okay, let's do it then, Ms. Francis. Okay. Let me just take one away. Hmm. She's also muted. All right. Do you can you guys see my presentation? I can do. you guys see it? Yes. Okay, Ms. Priya, then go ahead. I'm sorry about that. I don't know what's oh, go going ahead. on with the computer. Okay, you can go to the next slide. Okay, so we're going to discuss today um, the general overview of admissions, the welcome letter, and login information into my schools, uh, the CISAT registration, which is the specialized high school admissions test registration and timeline, and the test accommodation on the test on the CISAT in my school's online directory and all the resources in the Q&A. Okay, so there are two pathways, the high school application and the specialized high school. Uh, and you are required, you know, you can take both, but everyone has to apply for high school. And that's going to be later. It's optional to take the specialized high school test. Okay. Just because you took the test, that doesn't mean you're not going to apply to high school. So who can participate? Every, uh, all eighth grade students who live in New York City and attend public schools or charter schools, private or parochial schools, and students that are homeschooled uh, can participate, and ninth grade students who live in New York City and are not uh, repeating ninth grade. English language learners can apply to any high school in New York City. All high schools must provide services for students that are learning English. English language learners and eligible former English language learners are eligible for supports and accommodation <clears throat> in, all, in all admissions uh, related tests and auditions. Now, English language learners, uh, some high schools are designed specifically for students who are learning English or are new to this country. Um, these, start, these programs admit students based on home language, years in this country, and English proficiency. Students with disability uh, students who with an uh, individualized education program may also apply to any high school program in New York City. All high schools must provide services for students with NIEP, 
and IEPs are also known as IESPs or learning programs. Those of our students, they are in, they have an IEP, but they're in private schools, IESPs. Students with disabilities um, in high schools and in high school admissions, students are considered for both uh, for offers into uh, group seats, seats groups. Uh, and that is determined by the most recent IEP. 20% uh, of um, the special education students who receive, go back a little bit, Mateo. Yeah. Uh, students who receive a special education instructional programming for more than 20% and the general education students. So those are the two groups that are considered in, um, in our missions. Okay, students with accessibility needs, you can learn more about this um, accessibility um, by contacting um, the school directly. And you know, any high school that you're interested in and you are going to apply to, you need to contact them directly to find out about their accessibility. Um, and, and in the specialized high school and high school admissions guide, there's information about those schools and on, in the online directory, also my schools. So this was what I was talking about, that there are two pathways to high school. Uh, you have the high school application, that there are seven plus, uh, 700 plus programs that you can apply to. And uh, you list 12 choices from um, in true order of preference and you can apply. That is the maximum amount of uh, choices you can list in your high school application, 12. And then you receive one offer from those 12. And after that, the rest of the, if you are eligible for wait lists, then you will be in a wait list. And then we have the other path, which is the specialized high schools, and they also call testing schools. Um, and there are eight testing schools, and then you have to register for the SHISAT, uh, take the test, and then you get one result. So by taking one test, you can apply for all eight specialized high schools. Uh, and then you have the audition specialized high school, which is LaGuardia, and you have to register for the audition. And then you can go up, you can get up to one offer uh, from those audition programs. So my school, so the work home letters and logging into my school, let's talk about that. Okay, so getting started in my schools. First, we're gonna discuss how to log in, then reset in your password, how to log in, in uh, how to log in using the welcome letters, the registration for the SHISAT, and testing accommodations for the SHISAT. So now, well, the welcome letters were mailed to your homes uh, on October 14th. And they, in that letter, it was included their account creation code. Um, they, they did not mail that, um, they did not mail on that letter with this, there was no student ID. Um, and then detailed information for you on how to log in and create your accounts. Um, I also gave out, and everybody signed for those letters, my um, the welcome letters. And Mr. Pedro was very nice to help me out to um, actually um, include in your in those letters the email address of for those children who already have an account. So I know parents, most of you have an account because you had to apply for middle school choice and you had to create a my schools account. So I put, I uh, included each of the, you know, I, I put in the letter, your login information and the email address that you used. Okay, so in those letters also was included the student ID and the detailed information on how to create the account. So I'm gonna show you a video on how to create the account and how to reset your password if you already have an account. Mateo, I don't hear it. Your 
Can you hear now? Yes, now, yes. Oh, no, I don't hear it. I heard you. And your personalized application. Yes. You use it to explore program options, or you can submit your child's application and get their middle or high school offer. To set up your high school's account, there are two steps. First, create your account, and second, add your child to it. This fall, every fifth or eighth grade student currently enrolled in a New York City public school will receive a welcome letter with instructions and a unique account creation code. If you have more than one child applying to school this year, you will receive a different code for each child. If you do not receive your welcome letter in the mail, please contact your child's current public school for a copy. If your child currently attends a private or parochial school, contact the Family Welcome Center to set up your My Schools account. Learn how at schools.nyc.gov slash welcome center. How to create your account. Once you have your welcome letter, read the first section. It walks you through how to create your My Schools account. Please note, if you've already created a My Schools account for another child in a previous year, you do not need to create a new account. Just log into your current account using the same email address. If you forgot your password, click the Forgot Your Password link on the login page and enter your email address to receive a password reset link. If you don't yet have a My Schools account, go to myschools.nyc and select or click on Get Started. On the following page, enter your information, including your email address. Then click Next. This will send a message from My Schools to the email address you entered. Log in to your email account to find and open this message. Click the link in the message to confirm your email address and keep setting up your account. Please note, you cannot continue until you click this link. Now you're back on the account setup page. Here, you'll enter the rest of your information, including your phone number, address, and preferred language. Please note that the address you enter must be a New York City mailing address. Don't worry if it takes a little while to load. The system sometimes needs time to search for your address. Once you've entered your information, click Submit. When you reach the dashboard page, your account is fully set up. Now that you've created your account, the next step is to add your child. To do this, you'll need two things. Number one, your child's MySchools account creation code. And number two, your child's student ID or OSIS number. We'll start with number one. You can find your child's unique account creation code at the top of their welcome letter. Please note that this code is different from your New York City Schools account or NYCSA creation code. Your New York City Schools account is a separate online resource where you can access your child's grades, and other information once they're enrolled in a New York City public school. For My Schools, you will need your child's unique My Schools account creation code. Moving on to number two, all current New York City public school students, including charter school students, have a nine digit student ID or OSIS <coughs> number, which you can find on their report cards and transcripts in your New York City schools account if you have one or by asking your child's current school. Once you have filled your child's account creation code and their student ID number, you can add your child to your MySchools account. Here's how. Go to myschools.nyc and log in. On your dashboard, click the large Add a Child button. If you're using a mobile device, scroll down. This button is located towards the bottom of the page. On the next page, select the NYC resident applying to middle schools or high schools option and click next. On this page, you'll enter your child's student ID in the top box using no spaces or dashes. Now enter their six letter account creation code in the bottom box in all capital letters. Then click next. Be sure to double check your typing. If it doesn't work the first time, try again with the same student ID and account creation code. The following screen will confirm that your child was added to your account. Click Go to Dashboard, and you'll now see your child listed here whenever you log in. Once you log into your account, you can also explore every program that your child is eligible to attend in a personalized version 
of the middle or high school director. You'll also be able to see your favorite programs by clicking the stars and submissions. Once the application opens, you will be able to add your favorite programs to your child's application and apply. Have questions about middle or high school admissions? Learn more at schools.nyc.gov slash middle and schools.nyc.gov slash high. On these websites, you can also watch our middle or high school admissions video playlists. Okay, great. Now we're going to discuss uh, the specialized high school submissions um, and um, discuss the updates for 2021, 2022 year, school year. Okay, so what are the specialized high schools? There are eight testing specialized high schools um, apply by taking the specialized high school test. You, you can apply by taking the test. And I always tell you guys, please, you know, just, and I sit down with the parents and I, I really strongly suggest for you to list all eight specialized high schools, uh, of course, in true order of preference. So starting from number one, the one that you really like, and probably most likely list Staten Island last, <laughs> but it's, imp it's important that you list all. Okay, um, so we have this two in the Bronx, uh, Bronx High School of Science and High School of American Studies at Lehman College. Bronx High School of Science is the biggest, oldest, one of the oldest and biggest specialized high schools. Um, the High School of American Studies is a smaller school. Then you have Brooklyn Latin in Brooklyn and Brooklyn Tech, the Technical High School. That's the largest high school in the country, by the way. Uh, there are 6,000 students attending that school. And one is also one of the oldest specialized high schools. And then you have Stevenson High School, also one of the oldest one and big, huge school. Um, they have 10 floors, <laughs> so it's a very big school. And it's one of the oldest ones. And then you have High School for Mathematics, Science and Engineering mm -hmm. at City College, New York. So that's in the city too, in Manhattan. Mm -hmm. It's a smaller school. Then you have Queens High School for the Science at your college. We only have one in Queens. Then you have Staten Island Technical High School and the ninth specialized high school, but this is not by, you don't list the school of course, because this is a performing arts high school. And the way you apply it is by auditioning and that the registration is not open yet. It will be available later. Uh, and there's uh, six programs that you can audition to. And uh, it's Pierola LaGuardia Performing Arts. Um, of music and arts, uh, and it is in Manhattan also. Okay, Mattel, thank you. Next. Okay, so LaGuardia auditions, that's what I was saying. The LaGuardia auditions, uh, you can register also in your in my schools, um, but uh, their registration has not been uh, open yet. It will, uh, we will communicate that to you guys when, it's, um, when the information is available. When high school enrollment will let us know, then you can go in my schools and register for the auditions. Uh, during the registrations, uh, families and school staff uh, will still indicate which programs the students uh, will audition. So there's up to six programs that you can audition to for LaGuardia. And more information regarding the timeline and audition process for LaGuardia and other pro arts programs will be released later this year. So we have to wait other um, uh, audition programs, meaning also Front Sinatra School of the Arts, there are other um, performing arts high school. Um, so, so step one, uh, to register for the specialized high school, um, the registration open October 15, and the deadline to register is November, um, October 14, sorry. And, and the deadline is November 15. So please, I beg you guys, just, if you're not sure, it's okay. Just 
if you're not sure the order or which schools you want to apply to, which specialized high schools, don't worry. Just just submit your uh, registration, and before um, the 15th, you can go back to your account and change the order. It's okay. You don't have to. Um, just don't register and wait until the end, and then you might miss the deadline. Okay. Um, so during the registration in my school, you can list up to eight programs. Uh, sorry, eight texting schools, specialized high schools, and we can, you know, you have to indicate and update this until the the, the registration the registration deadline is um, come. So you can change it. You don't have to just wait because sometimes if you wait for the last minute and then everybody's going to do the same thing, then the system can crash and you might have a problem. And after it closes, you can't, you don't have the opportunity to register. I can't do anything, okay? So please, and if you have any trouble, come to me, email me, come see me, okay? Next, Mattel. So, um, so you can register in my schools uh, and I'm gonna show you a video on how to um, register for the specialized high school. Before you submit the registration, you have to um, indicate uh, the preference order uh, in my schools. So I think that's the next video that I'm going to show you. Great.
Teachers Act registration. When you see the page with the confetti, you'll know your child's registration for the SHSAT was submitted successfully. You'll also get an email confirmation with a receipt showing the school choices and preference order that you submitted. If your child has tested accommodations from their IEP or because your child is an English language learner, the receipt your email this confirmation will also show those accommodations. If your child has a 504 plan that includes testing accommodations, those accommodations will not appear on the receipt. Instead, your child's current school needs to submit your child's 504 plan for review. Click Return to Dashboard to return to the main page. If you want to change the school preference order that you submitted, you can. Just log back into my schools at any time before the SHSAT registration deadline, then you can change the schools listed and or your preference order and submit again. If you do, you'll get another confirmation email with a new receipt that shows your most up-to-date list and preference order. Soon, before your child is scheduled to take the SHSAT, test tickets will be available to the town. Both email all parents and guardians when tickets are available. At that time, you can log into My Schools to download your child's test ticket. This ticket will include your child's test date, time, and location, and will list any testing accommodations they will receive on the test. For the latest updates and deadlines, visit schools.nyc.gov. Okay, step two uh, for the registration, you're gonna uh, get a receipt. Uh, so it will show the confirmation that um, in, your, in your email, you will, re you will um, receive one. And it's a confirmation that you are registered and identifying the information of the student, you have to check if all the information is correctly and the testing preference and the order Okay, as indicated in my school, as you indicated the order of the schools and the testing accommodation are currently in file, on file in my school. So, um, so when you, if you have, if you are, um, if you are an English language learner or you have an IEP, uh, I'm gonna review that, but it should be, the testing accommodation should be already in your account when you go to dashboard and you look at your profile um, you you will be able to see that. Okay, um, so you will get an email, and and then when you are, you can access uh, the registration receipt by going in the dashboard, and also an email you will receive. Okay, um, so it's going to look like this, like the video showed you. So that's important that you. You, you have that confirmation because sometimes you might think you re registered, but you didn't. So that's a problem because then you're thinking that you are okay and then you don't get a ticket and you can't really take the test. But um, so it should look like this in your email and in your um, account. So there's the, the testing accommodations are there on everything. Um, so if you uh, already receive testing accommodation in any of the tests, um, you will also get it for, for the uh, specialized high school test. Um, so it's, it's the most recent IEP, they're gonna go by that um, testing accommodations. And if you have a, four, a 504 plan, that also, it, that includes a testing accommodation, you will receive that. And your um, students who are English language learners also will have, um, accommodations. And this is where you can find that information in your My Schools. You go to your profile and you can see it under accommodations. And if there's a discrepancy or something is not right correctly, you can um, contact me and we can uh, fix it.
then uh, the ticket, um, the tickets will be available in my school after the registration deadline. Um, so you give them a, a couple of days and then before the test, and then they will notify you that the ticket is available in my school by an email. Uh, and then you can um, download it. And it will, you know, you have the test day, the location, uh, arrival time, the testing, um, testing school's preference order, as you indicated in my school, final uh, approved testing accommodations, and all your identification. Um, your name, you know, date of birth, I believe, and um, your student ID number. So the test tickets will be, it will have all of that information, the arrival time and the location, and you know, who can take the tests, uh, register eighth grader students who attend uh, public, um, you know, high public schools, uh, and is going to be in our, in our school, the test. It's gonna be um, Thursday, December 2nd. And Mr. Rodriguez maybe will talk about it later, um, but it is a school day on a Thursday. So you have to bring that ticket with you and uh, everything else that, you know, that the test requires that you, you cannot have, you know, you can't prepare. Um, so when they email you the ticket, they, you will also have a list of things that, um, that you, so you can prepare for the test, such as do not bring, you know, um, phones, uh, calculators, and all of that. Like it, it was gonna give you a list of things. So what is on the test? This she said is a timed test. It's 180 minutes with no breaks. Uh, for students with extended time accommodations, it's 360 minutes uh, with two uh, 15 minute breaks. And two sections is the ELA, is 57 multiple choice questions. And the math uh, has 52 multiple choice questions and five gridding qu uh, quest uh, questions. And as I gave, you know, uh, last year I gave um, the, I gave out the handbook to prepare the practice, um, to, to prepare for the uh, test. But there's also information on, uh, and the, there's more materials, sorry, in, um, in the DOE website. And that is schools.nyc.gov slash SHS. Uh, so there's a lot more also materials that you can use to prepare uh, for the test. So high school, um, high school admissions. So what can families do now before um, application is open? So we covered now, we discussed the specialized high schools, the registration. Um, now we're gonna talk a little bit about high school admissions. And there are three ways you can um, start preparing for the high school application. This is something separate. So we have two separate applications here. Remember, you're not going to list uh, the specialized high school when you apply for high school. So once you register for the test, that's the application for the specialized high school. And then we have the 12th choice um, uh, high school application and you can start by uh, going online and you can talk to me, of course, you can go to my schools. I've been showing you that, how to um, save the programs. If you have your account, you can save the programs you like uh, and uh, that's what you can do right now. Save those programs, look for, you can also go um, on the, D the DOE website and use last year's uh, high school guide. I gave out this year's, um, but it's, it's really very small book. Uh, so there's no, the best, the best way to look for programs is using my schools online directory really. But this, the, you can use last year's and this is where it is online in schools.nyc.gov high. You can find all of that information, you know, uh, all of the 700 pro plus programs. 
Thanks, Mattel. Thank you. So, uh, my schools and my uh, my schools is the best you know tool right now, and it's all year round, and you can explore schools and programs options. Uh, you can you know since the registration is open now for the specialized high schools, you can register for the test, um, and I can also register if you have any issues problems. Um, please come to me uh, because you all have to have that account. Uh, if you don't have an account and you already, you're having trouble setting up your accounts, you have to let me know. I could register you, you know, for the specialized high schools, but you still need an account to submit your high school application. Um, so when LaGuardia registration is available, uh, you can also submit that. Um, you can also register for LaGuardia auditions. And later, you're going to submit your high school application and um, use my schools. So the high school directories that I was um, talking about, I gave them out already. Uh, and it's, it's like a guide, really. It's not a directory. It's a very small thin book this time because it includes, you know, admission. It's an admission guide and it's is is for the families that are applying for early early learn um, three to kindergarten pre K kindergarten middle school so it's a book that gives all information about high schools and specialized high schools as well. So there's a series of videos like I just the one that I just showed you. Um, so and you can find those videos in schools.nyc um, gov slash high. So you can find all of those videos about the specialized high schools and also how to explore, um, you know, programs and more detail about the specialized high schools admissions and tutorials also. So please, um, I have them also posted in my Google Classroom too. So the timeline, the high, the high school high school application uh, timeline. Um, after the application opens, uh, you can add programs uh, to your application and arrange the programs in their preferred order. You can submit your applications and change the. You can also change the application anytime until that application closes. So that's important to know. After, after the application opens, then I can do the same thing. I can also submit the high school application for you uh, and download the receipts. And also I can download like a printed work, um, application worksheet. But again, the best way is to have your, your accounts and start just, you know, having a list of programs using my schools and save those programs there. So when the application it's open, then you 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 can I, I would like you to let, to have like a list of 20 to 30 programs there. So then once the high school once the high school application opens and you go to the virtual open houses, then you can decide which 12 programs you are going to list on your high school application. And then there, this is what I was talking about, the virtual high school events. There, there have been high school admissions have had a series of uh, workshops like this one um, on high school um, admissions. So the, there was one November 3rd and I posted that flyer in the Google Classroom. So it's still there. Uh, there's another one coming up next Tuesday, November 9th from six to seven. And this event is in English. So you can, um, you know, you can attend, it's, it's important to go. Um, so you can also um, go on that page, schools.nyc.gov high and find out more about those um, virtual workshops. And these are the videos in the, the page where you can find those videos uh, on high school admissions, videos on specialized high school admissions, tutorial on how to use my schools, 
and videos that answer frequently asked questions. Uh, the next steps and resources for families are admission information and videos, specialized high schools, and decide that you can take a picture of this. This is good information. You should have this um, in the auditions when they open. That's going to be, well, most of them are going to be virtual. So that's, uh, that's very important for you to um, start also browsing the website of LaGuardia if you're interested in applying uh, in auditioning for LaGuardia and or other, any other um, performing arts high schools, you have to go to their, their page, um, their website and find out what they require and what it, what is the requirements for the auditions. Okay, now we're going into the questions. If you have any questions now. I did receive a question, I, I answered it, but I'll answer it for everyone just in case. Um, someone asked if they don't get into a specialized high school, if that means that that's it. So I explained to the individual that no, if you don't get into a specialized school, there's also an opportunity to get into one of the 12 programs that they pick for a regular high school. Is that correct, Ms. Frias? That's correct. Uh, just because you take the specialized high school, uh, test, that doesn't mean that you're not going to apply to um, high school. And by the way, you do have a chance. If you don't pass the test this time, in ninth grade, you can take the, the specialized high school again. When you're in your high school, when you're attending high school, you can take it in ninth grade. That was the only question that I received. Um, if anybody has any questions, uh, please feel free to raise your hand or uh, add them in the chat. Mr. Oh. Rodriguez, you muted. Oh, I have one. There's another okay. question. Oh. Uh -huh. It yeah. says, when is the deadline for applying for any high school? There's no timeline yet for the high school application or the deadline. So as soon as we get that information, I will let you guys know. So that's when I'm going to have part two of the workshop, when I have all of the, all, all of the information uh, from uh, high school enrollment and when my schools is updated because it is not yet, then we will have another workshop about high school admission and the high school application. Well, there is a deadline for the specialized high schools. That is something that if you're interested, you have to, um, take action immediately, especially because the test will be administered as Ms. Rias pointed out at IS-145 on Thursday, October 2nd, during the day. So, and the school is open. So for 1600 students that are in this building. So it's, a, it's extremely important for me to know in advance uh, how many students will be uh, taking the test so I could make accommodations accordingly, uh, finding the right location in the building for you to take the test, uh, transfer students from one classroom to another to have the uh, accommodation in place and follow all safety accommodations regulations as well. So it's October, uh, the uh, test uh, is December 2nd, uh, Ms. Rios. Yes. So, um, so we're in November. So as soon as you are ready to register and can make a decision, please do so. Miss Miss Fria, somebody asked how long the specialized test is. It's one hundred and eighty minutes. Uh, if you're if you have an IEP or you're an English language learner, then it's three hundred uh, three hundred and sixty minutes. Um, so Walter Guadalupe says the test is not going to affect your application. The test is to see if you can get into the specialized high school. That's correct. It won't affect, and it will, it will not affect in any way your high school application. So if you pass the test, and then of course everyone is required <laughs> to submit your high school applications then you will have two schools. And when we get the offer letters in spring, you will have then one uh, high specialized high school. And you will have also 
one high school. So you will have two and you will have to decide which one you want to um, attend to. You have to decline and accept one. So that's great, you'll have two rather than if you don't take the specialized high school test and you know, and you will never know if you pass it, then you will have to in spring to high schools. But if you don't, if you don't pass, then you will have one. And if you don't take the test, you will only have one too. Um, Diego Alvarez. So this chat will be available during the Zoom meeting that we're having right now. But if you have any additional questions, you can um, stop by and speak to Ms. Frias, email her, uh, any, yes. any questions you have. I'm putting my email address. Oh, I can put it in the chat. Oh, please, yes. It's S free S3, right? Correct. Okay. Okay, are there any other questions? No? Uh, so once again, uh, we have a lot of students, a lot of eighth graders, and as uh, Ms. Frias mentioned a few minutes ago, we're gonna have another session uh, to help you in the process of uh, applying and in the process of submitting your high school applications. Once again, uh, it was a pleasure to have you with us this afternoon and hopefully this particular presentation has been helpful to the, uh, all of you that attended and I'll be seeing you students uh, on Monday. And parents, you're always welcome to come visit us if you need any uh, support from us. Have a pleasant afternoon, enjoy your meal and see you soon. Thank you, Ms. Rias, uh, Francis, Thank you. and Mr. Mateo. Bye-bye. Thank you, Mr. Mateo. Thank you, Mr. Rodriguez. Bye-bye. Hi, Ms. Francis, thanks. You're Thank you for your help. No problem. Bye. Bye. Bye.